Short-haul flying is broken. Long delays, loud turboprops, and constant maintenance headaches have left travelers saying, If it's Boeing, I'm not going. That's the backdrop for Elon Musk's 2026 Tesla Super Electric plane, a game-changer designed to solve those exact problems and reset expectations for regional air travel. Here's the promise. Kept sharp and practical. 4 to 12 seats for community routes up to 500 miles. 15-minute turnarounds with modular battery swaps. Quiet electric motors that bring back early and late departures at local airports. Fewer moving parts, meaning less hangar drama and more factory-level consistency. How does it improve short-haul flying for everyday travelers? Start with the space you touch. A compact cabin with one to one or two to one seating keeps aisles 18 to 20 inches wide so passengers can move without elbow wars. A large low door and low step height make boarding a one-hand task, not a workout. That same opening swallows standard cargo tubs and medical stretchers. So the plane can flip from passenger cargo or EMS in minutes with quick-release seat rails. Durability is built in. Short-haul aircraft rack-up cycles fast, so fatigue and corrosion are the real enemies. A mix of corrosion-resistant aluminum and composites keeps weight, cracking, and costs under control. Every inspection point is easy to reach. Seats and restraint anchors meet dynamic crash standards, meaning the cabin is proven protect heads and hips in a rough landing. Target service life. Tens of thousands of flight hours before heavy structural work. Outside, noise is tackled before engines even spin. Smooth wings, modern wing tips, enclosed landing gear, and low tip speed propellers all cut drag and reduce the sharp tones that carry into neighborhoods. Pair that with quiet electric motors and suddenly local airports can approve those early morning and late evening slots, making schedules more reliable. Under the skin, everything is service first. High-use components sit behind dedicated access panels. Inverters, controllers, avionics, and environmental packs are line-replaceable units. A two-person crew can swap a box in five to ten minutes with standard tools. Fasteners are standardized, QR-coded parts linked to digital manuals, and battery swaps fit neatly inside the 15-minute ground window. So how does this change short-haul schedules? Two levers, guaranteed 15-minute turns and 500-mile reach. A complete cycle, taxi, flight, unload, reload, battery swap, checks, fits into 60 to 90 minutes on sectors under 250 miles. That means one plane can credibly fly 10 to 16 legs a day. Stretch to 500 miles and you still get 6 to 10 legs daily. The key is consistency. Every turn is the same every time. That's how Tesla turns ramp minutes into flight minutes and short haul chaos into reliable, quiet, affordable travel. Imagine cutting a 5 hour drive down to under 2 hours without the chaos of big airports. That's the promise of Tesla's super electric plane. Third, real door-to-door -door gains. Many regional drives take three to five hours with traffic and stops. A short hop from a nearby community airport, up to 500 miles, compresses at about 1.5 to 2 hours, including check-in and transfers. Why? Short taxi paths, minimal queues, and the same 15-minute ground rule. And with thousands of underused local airports across the U.S., this time savings can land right where people live. Fourth, Low noise equals longer flying hours. Quiet electric motors and smoother aerodynamics open early morning and late evening slots that noisy turboprops can't use. More legal hours mean more flights, better schedules, and stronger on-time performance. Do you see Tesla's super electric plane as the ultimate short-haul option with its full electric design, 15-minute turnarounds, and 500-mile range? If yes, comment Tesla wins. How does the Tesla Super Electric plane cut short-haul costs? It starts with the motors. Direct-drive electric units skip gearboxes. Fewer moving parts, less vibration, easier checks. At cruise, efficiency it's 90 to 95 percent, meaning nearly all energy becomes thrust. With multiple independent motors, one can shut down without canceling a flight, keeping schedules intact. Next, the battery. Built in modular blocks, not giant slabs. Each module swaps in six to eight minutes. Then crews spend three to four minutes on checks for a reliable 15-minute turnaround. 
Capacity runs 600 to 900 kilowatt hours, equal to 6 to 9 long range EVs. Kept cool and healthy by liquid systems and smart BMS, lasting 1,500 to 2,000 cycles. Charging in swaps. Daytime equals quick swaps to keep planes flying. Overnight equals 600 to 1,000 kilowatts fast charging in 36 to 60 minutes. The rhythm, swap by day, charge by night. Maintenance. Critical electronics are modular line replaceable units. Two mechanics, five to ten minutes, standard tools. Faults get contained in milliseconds. Problems stay small. The economics. A four to twelve seat airframe needs 200, 300 kW to cruise, costing just dollar twenty four. Fifty four slash hour in electricity versus dollar two twenty five, three fifteen slash hour in jet fuel alone for a turboprop. Even after battery costs, total operating expense drops 15 to 25 percent in the first one to two years. Fewer parts, healthy batteries, rapid swaps, and fault tolerant systems mean tighter schedules and lower fares. Would you switch if flights cost just 79 to 99 dollars one way? Comment yes. How does it shift short haul travel away from legacy aircraft? By targeting corridors where demand is high but service is thin, city to city hops under 500 miles. With 4 to 12 seats, quick boarding, and fixed 15 minute turnarounds, one plane can fly 10 to 16 legs per day under 250 miles, or 6 to 10 legs between 250 to 500 miles. For travelers, that means replacing 4 to 9 hour car trips with 1.5 to 4 hour door to door flights from local fields. A frequent, predictable, shuttle-like service, price to use. The future of aviation doesn't always roar in with the sound of jet engines. Sometimes, it hums in quietly on the wings of innovation. After the commuter rush winds down, when the city lights fade into a quiet glow, a new kind of aircraft takes to the sky, not with thunderous blasts, but with a soft, steady power that feels almost like magic. The Tesla Super Electric Plane begins its night shift. While most planes sleep, this aircraft thrives in the calm of night, carrying light cargo, delivering critical medical supplies, and connecting communities that the big jets have long forgotten. Its design is built for reliability. Multiple independent electric motors keep the aircraft aloft, even if one falters. Real-time health monitoring ensures that any small hiccup is quickly detected and addressed. And if something needs replacing, no waiting days in a hangar. Line replaceable units can be swapped in minutes. Every part of the system is engineered for resilience, for speed, and for trust. On the ground, the plane fits seamlessly into the rhythm of the night. No noisy fuel trucks, no exhaust fumes. Instead, quiet electric ground operations keep lights, avionics, and even medical refrigerators powered directly from shore electricity. A lifeline flight can load up with organs for transplant, urgent medications, or critical test samples without the delay of refueling. The quiet efficiency means airports and small towns can run night operations without disturbing nearby neighborhoods. And when the night sky is darkest, the avionics shine brightest. GPS-based approaches, synthetic vision systems, and powerful LED lighting guide the aircraft safely into small community fields. The short field performance means it doesn't need vast runways, just a modest strip of pavement. By sunrise, after completing several short milk runs of deliveries and transfers, the Tesla Super Electric Plane is ready to hand back seamlessly to the morning passenger schedule. No extra maintenance. No downtime. Just continuity and efficiency. From fields to factories. The versatility of electric aviation. But this story doesn't end at night. As daylight rises, the aircraft shifts rolls again. Industrial and agricultural missions become its next frontier. Consider the wind farm standing tall on remote ridges, or solar rays spread wide across deserts, or vast refineries and mines that pulse with industrial energy. These places often sit far from major airports, but close enough to small, forgotten airstrips. The Tesla plane can bridge that gap. With its dependable 500-mile reach, it can stage technicians' spare parts and urge its supplies directly to these sites and return them the same day. No long drives across empty highways. No waiting for deliveries. Just direct, repeatable runs that save both time and money. 
large farms, too, stand a benefit. Agricultural operations can schedule reliable flights for veterinarians, seasonal workers, or even fresh produce heading to regional markets. Fixed schedules become the norm, and the aircraft's efficiency ensures high utilization without spiraling costs. Because electricity is far cheaper than jet fuel and maintenance is dramatically simplified, the total cost of ownership stays low. And unlike hub-based air travel, where aircraft spend hours taxiing and waiting, this system prioritizes quick, community-centered access. The economics of inspiration. Numbers tell their own story, and here the math is breathtaking. Take a 500-mile route. A Tesla super electric plane with 10 seats and fly in 85% load factor carries about 9 paying passengers. Cruising at 200 miles per hour, the journey takes roughly two and a half hours. Just long enough for a podcast, a nap, or catching up on work. Now the costs. The energy required is around 650 kilowatt hours. At a discounted night rate of 12 cents per kilowatt hour in the United States, that's about $78 for the entire trip. Add $20 to $40 for small airport landing fees and another $35 to $55 for maintenance and wear. The total direct cash cost per flight? Between $133 and $173. That translates to about $15 to $19 per paying passenger. Think about that. Crossing 500 miles in comfort and quiet for less than the cost of a takeout dinner. Even when you add crew insurance and capital costs, the economics remain game-changing. Airlines can sell tickets at $99 to $139 during peak demand and still profit. In slower periods, promotional fares could drop to $79 or $89 without threatening the business model. Frequent, reliable service means more departures and fuller seats. This is not just affordable travel. It's democratized travel. A family visiting relatives in the next state, a small business person meeting clients, a student heading home for the weekend, all find new freedom to fly without financial strain. The market shift, a silent revolution. Put in market terms, the shift is profound. Once passengers experience fast, quiet, fairly priced hops, they won't want to go back. Airlines follow the money. And within 12 to 24 months of steady service, total cost of ownership could drop by 25 to 30 percent. Why? Because electricity is cheaper, maintenance is faster, and the aircraft simply spends more time in the air earning revenue. At that point, new short-haul capacity tilts decisively toward electric aviation. Legacy manufacturers, those who built their empires on kerosene and complexity, Face a choice, adapt or seed the market. Boeing, once a titan of short-haul dominance, could find itself displaced not by a traditional rival, but by a disruptive newcomer that redefines the economics entirely. It's not just about planes. It's about an industry's identity. Communities reconnected. But perhaps the most inspiring part of this story isn't the math or the market. It's the map. Across the world, thousands of small airports sit underused. Some were built for military training decades ago, others for regional transport that faded when big airlines consolidated around hubs. These runways are still there, waiting. Electric planes can bring them back to life. Imagine a small town in rural America, or a coastal village in Europe, or an island community in Asia. Instead of being cut off, they are suddenly reconnected. Fifteen-minute turnarounds mean multiple daily flights. Residents can reach bigger cities for work, school, or health care. Tourists can arrive directly instead of driving for hours. Local businesses can export goods quickly. It's a revival, not just of airports, but of communities themselves. A new culture flight. The Tesla Super Electric Plane isn't just an aircraft. It's a cultural shift. Quiet skies mean less noise pollution. Electric propulsion means cleaner air. Faster turnarounds mean more flexibility for passengers. And lower costs mean flying isn't just for the privileged. It's for everyone. Picture this. You book a flight from your local airstrip just 10 minutes from your home. You arrive without the stress of giant terminals or endless security lines. 
Within 15 minutes, you're boarded and airborne. The hum of the electric motors is gentle, almost soothing. The views are spectacular. Two and a half hours later, you land in another city, refreshed, connected, and inspired. This is not the distant future. It is just over the horizon, the call to action. So, the question isn't whether this future will arrive. The question is where it will begin. Which small airport near you should host the first early morning or late evening Tesla super electric flights? Which community should feel the lift of quiet, affordable, reliable aviation first? Drop your airport code. Choose your preferred time window. Because short haul travel is about to change forever. 15 minute turnarounds. Up to 500 mile hops. Quiet airfields putting small towns back on the map. This isn't just a new kind of airplane. It's a new way of thinking about flight, about community, and about possibility. The sky has always belonged to dreamers. Now, thanks to electric aviation, it belongs to everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to Auto Garage for more fascinating and informative content. Thanks for watching.